Lucas Media, salute to the LDBC. Last night, Floyd Mayweather fought John Gotti the second. Third, my bad. First fight ended in controversy. The second fight, you know, it was a $59.99 on the zone. Of course, I didn't pay that price, but you know, salute to the people who did. But I mean, it was it was a uh, it was lackluster to me. I mean, I, who it was an eight rounder, two minutes each round. Floyd came in at 160. That's the heaviest I've ever remember him being. Uh, which lets you know he always was in phenomenal shape. Floyd's always been a phenomenal athlete, but it was it was okay. I mean. Uh, I didn't expect John Gotti to win. He probably didn't expect to win. Floyd just trying to get an easy payday. One thing I did notice was, it's funny, Floyd's whole circle uh, changed. Leonard Elby is no longer there. I don't hear him say nothing about Al Heyman. What's his name? P. Rilla. I seen him there, but you don't see the same people around. And, you know, I seen people say, oh, Floyd make more money than a lot of these fighters. Well, maybe he does, but why is he still fighting? Why? And the fight had to be in Mexico. And I'm wondering is because, you know, it's not enough people that are really interested in watching it or at least paying $59.99 on regular, you know, on pay-per-view in America. Or that's he's not going to sell out the T-Mobile arena. I just, I really, I'm telling you, Floyd, please, man, please, I hope you was better with your money, man. Like, I don't know. He, 47 years old, came in, like I said, 160. I mean, I don't know. Which which is decent, which is decent. Y'all like the lake, man? It's beautiful down here. I might have to end up moving here, y'all. But um I don't know. I don't know what's next for Floyd. Hopefully, hopefully he's done fighting, honestly. That's just me. I don't want to see legends get hurt, you know, or keep taking punishment, regardless of whether I agree or disagree. But part of me feel like Floyd gonna try to cash out. At least five or six four times i mean i know he got bentley's and ferraris and you know uh an entire group of women and four private jets and ten mansions but like i said you, i just noticed nobody like where's al Heyman? he don't even say al Heyman no more what happened to him saying al Heyman was my father and uh you know al Heyman this al Heyman that he's on the zone what I, i'm surprised that he wouldn't amazon prime wouldn't pick him up you would think they would especially after he didn't make all that money for these people he didn't make hundreds of millions of dollars, but yet, you know, they're not giving him a solid when he's still out here fighting. And, you know, just him fighting still. Manny Pacquiao did an exhibition. I even Victor Ortiz. I seen Victor Ortiz last night. He looked, uh, you know, it looked, it looked kind of old, kind of sluggish, you know, kind of out of shape. I get it. It was a eight rounder, I think, eight or ten rounder for him. But it's just, it, it's time to see new fighters, man, new faces. You know, you got the, the, Javante Tank Davis's, the salute to Devin Haney, former undisputed 135 champion, the Shakur Stevenson's, and so on and so forth, man. It's, it's time for these legends to move on. That's just my opinion. I don't want to keep seeing Floyd fight, man. I don't want to see Manny Pacquiao fight. I don't want to see these, oh, so many fighters who are in adults when I was kids and I'm pushing, you know, four centuries. I don't, I don't want to see none of these people fight no more, man. Y'all made hundreds of millions of dollars. Just, just be smooth with your money. You know, your decision, man, I don't know. And, you know, with Floyd, I just hope that the people that was around him didn't take advantage of him. But just like boxing, most fighters get taken advantage of, and you never know until they get a little older. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.